Good afternoon, everyone. It's Lee the Appraiser for the famous APR 57 Gallery here in New York City. How's everyone doing today? I hope they're doing fine. We're live here on 57th Street where all the action is. And uh, we had these short clips called Amazing Appraising. This is how you figure things out and do appraisals that might take 40 years of experience in two minutes. So we have a friend of mine. What's your name again? Drew. Drew. We have Drew here. And uh, you're from New York, Drew? Yep. I like the hat. Thanks. Looks like from you're in some safari or something like that, huh? Indiana Jones. Huh? Indiana Jones. He just came out with a new movie. You know he's a customer of mine? Really? I yeah, he's bought probably 30 watches for me over the years. Really? He likes to buy them from me, Harrison Ford, because I say nothing. He's, you know, he's a paid spokesman of some of the biggest brands, Omega, whatever, but... He buys for me, I don't say nothing, and we have a good relationship. Anyhow, uh, he lives here in New York, by the way. He lives yeah, in, met him I, once, 20 in, years uh, ago. I think Soho or Chelsea, but anyhow. So Mr. Drew here um, is here in person, and he is showing us this painting. It appears to be a oil painting on a, we're gonna call it like a board or a piece of, what is this on, do you know? So it's on like a piece of porcelain or board. The artist's name is A Initial, Mar Maresca. So tell me what you know about this painting first of all. So my friend Richard uh, donated this for an organic farm project and what I know is that it's from a Nancy and Ronald Reagan collection. Uh, whenever I looked anything up online, the only thing I found were two similar pieces by the same artist on Christie's. Okay, and uh, he was kind enough to show us uh, where he saw it here. I don't know if you can get a clear picture of this, but um, evidently Christie's it appears now whenever you see something online you have to see the context of who's selling it where they're selling it why they're selling it and that'll give you a good idea of a lot of questions about authenticity so it looks like we have a date here of when this was sold uh, interesting enough it doesn't say here um, oh it does okay so in 2000 September 28 2016 Christie's sold a painting uh, by this appears to be the same artist, A. Marasca, 20th century, a scene in Paris, very similar to this. Everyone can see that. That's this one here. This is the one that he is trying to sell us now. And um, they're both about the same size, about uh, six by six inches. Now, okay. This, so as we were saying, um, we have reference here. My friend Drew showed me an estimate at an auction at Christie's uh, that was done seven years ago in which this artist painting was estimated for between two and four hundred and it actually sold for five thousand dollars. Okay, so the question is, he's looking for five or six thousand dollars for his. So is that a fair offer or a fair estimate or a fair expectation for him to get? So as I told him, this one here, so we looked up the artist. The artist has virtually no provenance, no pedigree. Um, on the back, there's actually a printed label which denotes that when you have a label that's a print of the artist and his type of work, that means it was done in huge quantities because they wanted to print a label. They made a thousand of these labels to put them on a thousand or five thousand of these pieces of artwork. So that's what the label was done. And therefore, in my opinion, initially I judge that it's a commercial painting done in huge quantities, um, nice but nothing special and not terribly valuable or collectible. But we do have Mr. Drew here showed me this. At Sotheby's, it was estimated for two to 400, which is not much, but it was sold for $5,000. So what I had to do to explain to him is that the auction house, the only reason it brought a lot of money is because it came from the collection of one of the most popular presidents of the United States history, the two-term uh, president, Ronald Reagan, um, and uh, therefore, people or some people wanted to buy something from his personal collection and his estate as a remembrance, not based on anything to do with the artist. 
So unfortunately, you know, we did check our database. We have a database of 100 million pieces of art, any type of art that was sold at auction. His name, this artist, does not show up. And therefore, in my opinion, we like to use decorative. It has decorative value, no real collector value, okay? Um, what you want to look for are artists that have what's called secondary market. That means after their items are sold, if they're sold at public auction, either they passed away or they have much more demand. Only one out of a hundred contemporary artists do have value. And if he had a following, a provenance, a pedigree, then we would be interested. There'd be record of his sales and we'd be interested in purchasing it and therefore um, it would have value and we'd be interested in buying it or appraising. But when you're talking about modern paintings, even the last 50 years, 75 years of artists who don't have any secondary strong market, the, um, the value for us and for most other people, the word is decorative, people will pay typically up to a couple hundred dollars, maybe a couple thousand, it's really beautiful to hang on their wall. Okay, next, what do we have here? This is an Asher Brown Duran Hudson River School painting, Kindred Spirits, from the 1800s. Okay, and Asher Brown Hudson River School, uh, that's typically the name that is associated with the artist from New York. You know where it got its name from? Like what's called the Hudson River School? What does that mean? I forgot. There's a story on the internet that we can look Okay. So actually there's a story about everything on the internet, but that's a separate issue. So my recollection is Hudson River Schools. We have a very famous river here, uh, about six blocks west of us, called the Hudson River. It goes all the way up to uh, like Riverdale, Upper Manhattan, Riverdale, and all the way up to the country. And that is uh, considered some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. So what happened was in the, I think late 1700s, 1800s, a lot of the best artists in the world came to New York to paint. And then they saw the beauty of the countryside and the Hudson River. So a lot of them went up to the Hudson River and went all the way upstate to paint uh, scenic views of the Hudson River. So typically artists, um, for their creativity and ability to paint, that's why they're gonna have a portrait, they have somebody, a model there to paint, right? So they paint it, they like, you know, it's easier for them to see it and paint it than to conceptualize, you know, from memory. So they made these beautiful paintings and that's some of the best artists in the world did that here in New York and they're called the Hudson River School Paintings. They came from the school of the Hudson River. That's what they were trained to do. And some of the great artists, uh, I'm trying to remember here, uh, I have, we have a couple of them, we paneled them. Um, I think Ken Set is one, uh, Crosby is another. There's a lot of very famous ones. Gifford is another. These are very famous artists where some of the works go for hundreds of thousands of dollars and even millions of dollars. So uh, we have another painting of, of this gentleman here. So um, this looks like, again, it's painted on board. Uh, we're saying, uh, so let me just check here. Okay, so Asher Brown Durand, he was around the year we were told, um, the mid-1800s, from 1796 he was born, and he lived till about 1886. So when you look at art, the first thing you want to do is check to see who the artist is, okay? The easiest way to try to verify that is to look for a signature. So again, we have a database here, and uh, Asher Brown Durant, we looked high and low, and out of all the pictures, they must have had 50 of them here, there's only one that's signed. So that'll tell you, and this is a reliable database, that he normally did not sign his work, okay? Now, my friend Drew here um, is looking at it and telling me that he believes the signature was on the bottom. There's some, what they call yellow, we're gonna call them yellow. Um, oh, but you could be right, it might not be signed. I'm sorry? It might, it might not be signed. No, I don't believe it is. Yeah. I mean, what you're pointing out to me was yeah. is these yellow, uh, you know, whatever it's called, the grass leaves or, or anything like that. So um, again, this is painted on, it looks like a board. Um, it There is no indication to me that it is done by Arthur Durant. 
I don't see any indication of this being a very high quality piece. Uh, typically, if it was, he would have a nameplate here of the artist when he was born and dead, and they would have a title. Um, so I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying from what I see here, it's virtually impossible to say it was. Uh, his signature here is uh, interesting enough. They just put his initials there, A. Uh, Duran. A Duran. A B Duran. A B D. Yeah. Is the signature here? Um, just to give you an idea here, these are some other types of his work. Um, they're much, in my opinion, more detailed, much larger. So, um, so we were just summing up the fact that, in my opinion, um, there's not much of a chance. I can't justify anything that would say. This is a real uh, round painting, um, nothing at all. Uh, so, you know, if, if I thought there was some chance, I would do the research on my own. I'm gonna discuss with our potential client here if he wants to have us spend some time, pay us a little to do some intermediate work, but I don't believe that there'd be a good chance. All right, so we're just summing up here. So unfortunately, um, our opinion on neither of these are quite valuable. If you have any pieces of art, we are the leading, basically a buyer and appraiser of all collectibles, fine art, jewelry, uh, painting, sculpture, watches, um, autographs, uh, sculpture, Tiffany pieces, anything of value, coins, stamps, you have it, we buy it, we appraise it. You can call or text us at 917. 439-9610. You can visit us at the famous APR 57 Gallery here in New York on 57th and 7th Avenue. We're open six days a week, every day for Saturday. If you have any questions, just call me, text me, leave the appraiser. We'll be happy to give you an informal appraisal, typically at no charge, no obligation. And in many cases, you'll be very surprised at how much your collectibles and valuables could be worth. Till next time, leave the appraiser signing off. Thank you very much.